Welcome back to FM Story. In the last episode, we began season 12 of this Glory Hunt Save, our first season with Juventus, where we're looking to win the Coppa Italia. We didn't start particularly well, losing at home on the opening day to Salonatana. However, we have then rebounded, won our next six league games in a row, and our opening two Champions League games. Given that we've already won the league and the Champions League with other clubs in the save, they're not obviously the main aim for the season. The main aim is the Coppa Italia, which won't start until January. So it's important that we keep this decent run of form going before we get to that stage. So without further ado, let's get into the action. We've played a handful of games since the end of last episode. We've played three. We've won one and lost one in the league. We are still top of the table. We're a point clear of, of Genoa, who will play next away from home in the league. We started with a 2-1 defeat against Frosinone. I mean, we were 1-0 up um, until the 70th minute, and they got two goals in six minutes, and we couldn't react. We were then at home to Palermo, and we picked up a 2-0 victory. And then we went to Cologne and uh, won 2 1 in the Champions League with a, a late Vlavic penalty. Vlavic has, has kind of stepped up a bit in the last couple of games from where he was at the start of the season. But as we see, we're going into this, this next game. Top of the table, we're one point clear of Genoa. Genoa, obviously, are who we've got next. Um, we are doing reasonably well. We're a bit sort of light on, on goals so far this season. Um, but Hopefully, we can just continue this decent run of form we've had going. So, this is the side we've picked for the trip to Genoa. We are missing some big, big players. Matthias Sula is injured. Vitinha is injured. Lucas Serra is injured. So, we've had to make two changes in the defensive midfield role. Garzon's come in. Miretti's come in. And we've gone with Kusius Ari on the right. Keen Yildiz has shifted out to the left. Sam Binch in behind Vlavic. And hopefully he can continue his good recent form in front of goal. Not much happening in the early stages of this game. Uh, we've had one shot for us and none for them after half an hour. Very, very dull first half by the looks of things here. Not one single highlight in that first half. They've had one shot with an XG of 0.02. We've had two shots with an XG of 0.09. We've dominated possession. We just haven't done anything with it. And we need to be a bit better with the ball in the second half, obviously. All right, we've made one change at half time. Schlabas has come on at, at right back for Boyomo. He was struggling a bit fitness wise. All right, some more changes to get some fresh legs on the pitch to see if we can change anything in this game. It is. A dull, dull game. We've not had a single highlight yet, and we're in the 70th minute. Right, Beck with a throw for us. Binge to Moretti. Inacio into Petrucci. Beck. Moretti onto Petrucci. Back to Inacio. And playing it about the back without really coming forward here. Petrucci looks for Paulson. Inacio into Paulson, Beck. We're doing well keeping the ball, we're just not doing anything with it. Inacio goes back to Verbruggen. He passes it straight to the centre forward. And luckily he was able to redeem himself and turn it over the top. Corner for them, Araujo to take. Pulled back towards the edge of the area. Canero gets his head on it. And it goes out for a throw in. Into the last five or so minutes here. And it's been a very, very, very dull game. Well, that was a terrible game. Uh, nil nil draw. At least we came away with a point. Um, not one highlight for us. The only highlight in the entire game that we saw was our goalkeeper gifting them a chance, which he luckily redeemed himself for. Um, and like I say, at least we didn't lose. On to the next one. So, we're into December um, and we're still top of the table. Following on from that miserable 0 nil draw against Genoa, we've picked our form up a touch again since then. First up, we beat Atalanta 2-0. It 
in the league. We won 4 0 against Red Star in the Champions League. And we beat Lecce 3 0 at home. And then the Roma game was all over the place. They scored a penalty after three minutes. We missed a penalty. We got two goals in the last five minutes from Matthias Sula. And then Fabio Moretti was sent off in the 95th minute. And then in the most recent game, we beat. And then in the most recent game in the Champions League, we drew 3 3 with Leverkusen. Um, conceding goals in the 94th and the 95th minute. So not the best end to that game. As far as the Champions League is concerned, we are sitting in second position. Four wins and a draw from our opening five games. And as far as the league is concerned, we are still top of the table. Still one point clear of Genoa. Milan have picked up a bit. Napoli have dropped off a bit since we beat them. And then, as we said, we've got this game coming up against Parma, who are mid-table. So hopefully this good run of form can continue. So this is the side we've picked for the trip to Parma. We do have a few issues. Um, Lodovic has failed a fitness test, so by almost slotted into the centre of defence and Shablas has come in at right back. Inacio's struggling a bit in terms of fitness. Vatina and Sula are just back from injuries. Um, and hopefully we have enough to pick up a three points here. Very, very little happening early on in this game. We've got a corner though, Sula to take it. Drills it into the near post. It's headed up in the air. Keenan Yule does underneath it. Drives to the byline. And the keeper's made a great save at the near post there. And they go long with a goal kick. Sarah wins the header. Yield is out to Beck. Down the line to Keenan Yield is. Pulls it back to Vitinha. Across to Lucas Serra. Binch off the bar. They've hit it up in the air. And they're going to get it clear. Corner for them. Lifted into the box. We've got a head on it. It's still alive though. Pulled back to the edge of the area. And they've taken the lead. I would say it's... Certainly from the highlights, it's against the run-up hill. They seem to have come back into the game a bit more before this corner. But just space on the edge of the box. Didn't really close them down. And the keeper had no chance with that one. Right, Carnero looked for Sula. It's gone back to the keeper. And now they've still got it. And they're attacking down the right-hand side. It's 2-1-1 on one against Beck here. They've gone backwards now. They've shifted out to the left hand side. And they're making us chase the game at the moment. They have far too much space and time on the ball here. Thankfully, we got away with one there. That, they could have had about five shots there. In the end, they put it over the top. Sula with a free kick for us, looked in, lifted it into the box, but now they're going to break. Sula gets back. Boyomo to Beck. He's punted it forward and it's going to come back at us. Sula chasing that down, down the right-hand side. And now they've hammered it upfield and they've got a three on three. Again, plays back. Sarah gets across to make a tackle. And they've drifted, driven past him. And we are all over the place here. They are now dominating this game. Lifted the ball over the top. And luckily, it hits the bar and goes over. Right, a throw that we've picked up. Binch drifting in fields. Loses out. Vitinha find well, looks for Sarah and it gets cut out again. And now they're hammering players forward on the counter attack. And we've been the architects of our own downfall in this first half. Just giving the ball away far too much. And then Inacio stayed deep. No one else followed a run. 
and that's 2-0. Right, Keen uses with a late free kick, hits the post. Sarah to Boyomo, Sula, and nothing comes up, but we've got a corner. Sula to take, aims for the far post. Inacio gets up. We grabbed a goal right on half time and made the scoreline look a bit better, but we've been all over the place in the second half of that first half. Luckily, the set piece works in our favour. And there we are, half time, 2 1. They've had so many chances despite us dominating the ball. We basically dropped off halfway through that first half and allowed them into the game, and we gave the ball away in stupid places as well. We need to be a lot better in the second half. All right, we've sent the same team out, give them a chance, but it's not going to be long before we have to make some substitutions. Keane yields his back in the left back position, wins it back. Inacio to yield his. Infield to Beck. Sarah back to Inacio. Beck to Vatinia. Sarah to Boyomo. Wide to the right to Shablas. Sula. Infield to Sarah. Now Vatinia finds Carnero. Keeper makes a great save to turn it over the top. And we need a, a goal quickly, I think, here. Sula with the corner, this time to the near post. King uses goals for the ball, but it's been cleared. Right, we've made a double change down the right-hand side. Petrucci for Shablas. Kusiasari for Sula. See if that makes a difference. Keenan yields with a corner from the left. Games for the far post, the keeper punches it. Petrucci wins it back. Vatinia to Keenan Yildiz. Goal from a very narrow angle, but I think he's probably offside. I don't think he got back as they pushed out. What's oh, been given? Hmm. So the keeper punches. Petrucci wins the tackle to break up the counter attack. Vatinia finds. Keen uses it must be a pretty close one. It might have got a nick off the defender on its way through, and too good for the keeper. It's that one straggler left by the penalty spot that's kept him on side. Time's running out. It's 2 2. Beck to Carnero with the throw. Inacio back to Beck down the line. We've lost out down that left hand side. Good block. Devanzo into Kusiasari. Boyomo dinks it forward, but it's going to come. Oh, Sarah wins it back. Kusiasari oh, wastes a chance. He could have put Vlavic through the middle, hammered it high and wide, and that's probably the last chance of the game. And there we go. It's, we've ended up drawing 2 2, given the situation we were at after 43 minutes at 2 0 down. The point is more than welcome, but we need to be a lot better than that going forward. And there we are, the end of another episode. And so far this season started pretty well. We're currently second in the table. Jenna were overtaking us after they won their last game. And we're second in the league phase of the Champions League. But the main event of the season kicks off next in the next episode. We've got the start of the Copper Italia. We're going to be playing either Genoa or Frosinone in the third round. So join us next time to see how we get on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you then.